In the darkness before dawn is December 7th, the temperature is a balmy 51 degrees. Measuring 95%, humidity is as wet as it can get without water actually falling from the clouds. The morning is not quiet, a drip, drop from tree branches into drenched leaf piles falling from eaves onto tarp-covered cords of firewood, inside downspouts, from power lines, onto parked car hoods. The stars and near full moon are hidden behind a thick layer of clouds. After the sunrise at 7.11 a.m., the day carries on in this soaked and saturated way, cloudy and punctuated by intermittent showers. The temperature will nudge up a few degrees to 54 degrees afternoon, and start a slow decline thereafter, sinking back down into the high 40s overnight. Sunset is at 4.26 p.m. The day will be 9 hours and 15 minutes long. The bottom of the low tide, when all that ocean water rushes back out to sea, is just 20 minutes away at 6.45 a.m. The moon will set just a little after. Tides are the fault of the push and pull of the sun and the moon. When the moon rises again at 3.58 p.m., it will be 100% full, meaning the earth will be caught between the sun, all three nearly in alignment. The sun pulls one way, the moon the other. Long period waves, also known as infragravity waves, are born. We on the shore see it as an endless line of crashing waves. Or from the riverbank, witness the spring tide, the maximum pull of the moon intersecting with a long period wave. The result is the flooding river, as high as it will get, its surface rushing past to the north, ominously close to overtopping the land and carrying away with it lawn furniture and bridges, farming implements and playground equipment, wooden structures, swing sets and livestock. The appetite of the river is bottomless. High tide is at 12.43 p.m. for the mountain forecast, now we go to Bjorn Jorgensen out at Bel Air Mountain. Bjorn, what can you tell us? Bjorn, good morning, Johannes. Everything is prepared. But the temperature on the summit at 8 degrees Celsius is so warm I've taken my shirt off. Johannes, you're on the summit then somewhat as you came into this world, only more dated. Bjorn, and with pants. That's right. Johannes, can you describe the summit of the mountain for us, Bjorn? <laughs> 